so obviously the day has happened uh the kit gets here next friday so it's time to pull off the hot side of the car um we're going single turbo let's go We got the radiator out already. Um, obviously, you have your two slots that it goes down in those holes, and then it mounts on this nut, mounts on this nut. You have an upper, well, upper, and then a lower radiator hose. Drain the lower, lower radiator hose, have a five gallon bucket below it, and it's off. Four 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, next, we have to take the intercooler to intake plenum piping off, so that way we can loosen our alternator bolt. Tensioner pulley, take the water pump pulley off. Also, get the water pump and alternator belt off. Next, will be loosen the power steering tensioner, which there's a 14 millimeter bolt in there. Loosen that up, take that belt off, and then take the AC one off. There's also a tensioner down there for that because everything from here all the way down here has to come off. So, we're doing draining the fluids first and getting the front prepped because I have to do timing also so let's keep going a little update um, we have all the turbo back stuff so down pipes off exhaust is off I'm gonna get a little pointer because I covered it in that R34 turbo swap which is what these are and if you haven't watched it you should go watch it after this video but uh, how you get these off because it is a pain FSM is a little unclear to follow um, FSM is field service manual uh, for the Nissan and Essentially what you do is once you get the turbo trains off the bottom of the turbos you also have Two 10 millimeter bolts right here you can, Right there one two That's uh, that holds the hardline bracket on for the coolant and oil feed Take that off Take these four bolts off up here, drop the front turbo down about half an inch, or I guess now it's about an inch, and then you can get a quarter inch swivel into these 12, mil 12 millimeter nuts holding your studs into the block. Take these off, I only have one left right there holding it on, and then you lift this off, and then you pull this out. And that's how you get the front one out, and then the back one, you have to do the same process, but drop the turbo through the bottom, and then the manifold through the top or bottom, whichever. But yeah. my 10 millimeter we have the complete hot side is off now so no turbo is there and now we have the fuel injector harness this this assembled taken off whatever you want to call it the throttle actuator taken off um, it's just these six bolts and that's it uh, and then these eight millimeter nuts and that disconnects the, nut. the linkage uh, and then we have the fuel injector holes plugged Next, what we have to do is take the middle valley cover off. Um, this will take the igniter off, which is that. And then take the cast off, take the front timing cover off. And I think there's something underneath here that we're supposed to take off. Um, I think it's a coolant line. But we will tackle that whenever I loosen the head and see what's holding it on. Because we might just be able to ro rotate it like this. Um, and just set it down because I'm just putting head studs on and then head gasket and I can put it back on so yeah if it's your first time ever doing a harmonic balancer uh, sometimes they're a pain on the LS you can actually get an impact straight on it on this you can't because condensers in it so what we did is put 30 mil on it and then you put a cheater pipe facing that way prodding against the ground and crank the right so now we have to remove the harmonic balancer, obviously, and on a Skyline GTR, you're going to have a 30 millimeter crank bolt, which we just got off, and then you're going to have two M6 by one millimeter uh, little holes in the harmonic balancer, and that's actually meant for this. So I'm just using a steering wheel puller, uh, but you just build up some washers with the long M6 bolt into the harmonic balancer. You put your... Uh, Threaded rod in, I guess, and then you just 
and it's coming out. Make sure to bottom these out all the way because this is a very small bolt and it's doing a lot of work. Um, so you do not want to snap those off because then you're going to be in a bad time. So, yeah. As you can see, we just pulled this off and I need to stop saying so a lot. But it's a really good time to inspect your harmonic balancer. And it's essentially made up of rubber. And if you can look, this is getting really dry rotted. And actually, down there, it's splitting. And the whole point of your harmonic balancer is to get all the vibrations out of the motor. So if all that rubber comes out, uh, essentially it can start going like this. And then you get chatter, and you get excessive wear on your bearings, and your motor blows up. So that means we need <laughs> more stuff, um, which means we need an ATI harmonic balancer. So while you're here, do it. Spend the money, and then you can use it. It'll last another 30 years. So, so as you can see... Uh, we are tearing down the RB26 uh, in my Skyline GTR because we're slapping a big old tope ski on this side and now we just got the crank pulley off well the harmonic balancer off and then the bolt into it next we have to take the front timing cover off we have the bottom front timing cover off we have the top one off already and we have to Essentially take the timing belt off and then undo the valve covers and we can get the head off and some exciting stuff on. So let's continue the process and keep going. didn't see in the little short video I just made uh, there are two 10 millimeter bolts that will prevent you from taking the head off uh, and if you didn't know about them you will be scratching your head for a long time one is obviously intake cam exhaust cam one is going to be located right there you have to take off this 14 millimeter bolt for the power steering and then you're going to have another one right there right there so, things you didn't know, now you know. That right, so there's one more. You have that one, that one, that one back there. And then you also have another 10 millimeter down in there. Which I don't know if you can see it, but it is right. It's right down over that ledge. So right by where those hose clamps are, it is right there. But you have another 10 millimeter down there. 